suiciders uh, to kill innocent life, uh, who would uh, who had relations with Zarqawi. Imagine what the world would be like with him in power. The idea is to try to help change the Middle East. Now, look, I did, part of the reason we went into Iraq uh, was uh, the main reason we went into Iraq at the time was we thought he had weapons of mass destruction. It turns out he didn't, but he had the capacity to make weapons of mass destruction. But I also talked about the human suffering in Iraq, and I also talked the need to advance a freedom agenda. And so my question, my answer to your question is, is that imagine a world in which Saddam Hussein was there, stirring up even more trouble in a part of the world that uh, had so much resentment and so much hatred that, three th that people came and killed 3,000 of our citizens. You know, I, I've heard this theory about, you know, everything was just fine until we arrived and, you know, kind of the, the, you know, stir up the hornet's nest theory. It just, it just doesn't hold water as far as I'm concerned. The terrorists attacked us and killed 3,000 of our citizens before we started the freedom agenda in the Middle East. They were... What did Iraq have to do with what? The attack on the World Trade Center. Nothing, except for it's part of, and nobody's ever suggested in this administration that Saddam Hussein ordered the attack. Iraq was a, uh, Iraq, the, the, the lesson of September 11th is take threats before they fully materialize, Ken. Nobody's ever suggested that the attacks of September the 11th uh, were ordered by Iraq. I have suggested, however, that resentment and uh, the lack of hope uh, create the breeding grounds for terrorists who are willing to use suiciders to kill to achieve an objective. I have made that case. And w one way to defeat that, uh, you know, the, 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 the defeat resentment is with hope. And the best way to do hope is through a form of government. Now, I said going 